Just some parting shots as we leave Valparaiso for La Serena. <clears throat> This is the beginning of a five-hour bus trip, which quite frankly I very much enjoy. I don't know why people live, I mean travel from the United States and then live here. Um, I think one of my problems <coughs> is that I've got too good a life and I've had too good a life. I've lived in Southern California on the beach and then in Jackson Hole and then going back and forth to Arizona. It doesn't get much better in my mind than that. Notice how these gas lines just go on the outside of the building. No real protection other than cement. There's just a little bit of cement around there, but it could be easily damaged. Just to illustrate how thin Costa or Chile is, a few kilometers ago we were running parallel to the Andes, now we're running parallel to the ocean. Letting somebody off near the small town of Koiran, Koiran, C O I R O N. Interesting how much of this looks like California. Off there, a mile or so, should be the ocean. Running parallel to the ocean right now, just over the side of that huge sand dune. And probably several miles in from. Ocean. But even from here, you can see the Andes. This is the auto entrance of the El Punto. This is the exact opposite of on the one yesterday. The one yesterday is old and never been restored. This was older been uh, restored, uh, upgraded substantially, probably new proportions had to be moved. This is the kitchen area. They've obviously spent a lot of money on not only painting, but in uh, accoutrements. This is the little kitchen dining area. I think they even have some kind of a menu. Here you get an idea of the Everything has been tiled perfectly, painted perfectly. None of this trashed painting and so forth that you usually see everywhere, including here in Argentina. This is my private bathroom across the hall from my place. 
top of the line. Just what you expect in Europe or the United States. The difference is these people probably came with cash from Europe, by Austria or Germany, I think. And we're committed to building something really beautiful and spending their life here. There's a major renovation going on here in this big uh, double wide street or double street. Kind of cool. There's a pretty little plaza just off the main plaza. This one's out in front of a church. Well, it looks like a church, but it has a different kind of steeple, so I'd have to walk down there to find out what kind it is. And Actually, I crossed the street and realized I do care. It's got a very interesting architectural features beneath the dome. So we'll go in a little closer and look at it. Inside, it looks like some kind of structure. It looks like it may support the bells, which I think I can just make out there in the center. Maybe not. We are at Plaza de Armas. I'll pan through. This is my first visit here. Uh, first visit to this square or plaza. Um, La Serena is beginning to give me the impression of being a European country. It is looks classy all the way down the line. I think you can get a little sense of that just from watching this video. They even have stop signs on some of their streets, which I have not yet encountered. The statue is dedicated to Gabriel Gonzalez Videlia, Videlia, V-I-D-E-L-A, perhaps the architect of the city and uh, the industrial section. I assume that may be a euphemism. The statue is a tribute to a man whose name I'll mention in a moment when I go back around, but this panel here deals with uh, Antarctica, as is probably kind of obvious from the clothes they're wearing in the background. And it's uh, some kind of a tribute to uh, uh, Chile's interest in Antarctica. What I'm looking for is I roam through this beautiful square, up to date, uh, neat, repaired, or there's a restaurant or a cafe where I can get a salad at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. What a pretty tree this is. Is that a pretty flower or what? These may be ornamental, but I can't pass up the opportunity to film them. Maybe as I'll wander around, I'll find out what the significance of this artwork is. There's the same tree, I think, as the other one, only with white flowers. How pretty is that? This is the bust of Liberda, Libertador Don Bernardo, Don Bernardo O'Higgins who has in Chile the same statue that San Martin has in uh, uh, Argentina. This is the Hall of Justice in La Serena. Stately building, nicely maintained. This is the ideal place to sit and have a salad and some mineral water with gas because it's one half a block away from the Hall of Justice, probably surrounded by legal law offices, etc., etc. 
and it's a busy intersection and I can almost scan the whole thing if it weren't for that sign sitting up there. Notice the way that the street signs are done in a nice way. Another full street of cafes. Boy, what a nice. In Chile, I'm starting to find, at least from Valparaiso on, uh, when bread served, served hot, which is pretty darn neat. The old building left pretty much old on the outside, but nicely maintained. Cafe Morocco. You'll notice also these these semi uh, semi spheres. They're designed obviously to keep the trucks from off of me. Looking at another angled street, and I am well on my way to getting lost. Lady, lady told me that this city is the second city in Argentina, uh, second oldest uh, city in Argentina, and that this style that it has is the neoclassic. Another interesting building with a lot of wood and a very interesting artifact on town. You have to wonder what the purpose of this was. A 360 degree looks like uh, eight sided, maybe six sided. No, I think it's eight sided. A lot of the, all the trim I think is wood and it's for sale. What a beautiful building that would be to fix up. Dated 1895. Another good example of this building, of this kind of style. Same one that the uh, uh, law building is in, but also here's a classic example of wiring. And this one's neat. And follow this along to another juncture. Then a long distance pan to a pole. Another interesting old office building or whatever it's used for. 